Greetings from St. John's, Newfoundland. Going to fetch some water right now. We are out. Thanks to you all who have subscribed to this channel and decided to uh, follow along on this adventure. It really does mean a lot. From the beginning when I started this vlog, I wanted to be real. And so, well, that's why you see me going to fetch water right now. It's, uh, it's definitely something real that has to be taken care of. Oh, and by the way, you know, I want this to be a two-way conversation too. So, you know, uh, if you have any questions or you want me to cover something, feel free to just, you know, write it down below in the comments. Yeah, I wanted to give you a complete picture. So while we're parked in St. John's, we are kind of going through a rough patch. Emma managed to damage her right eye. She was chasing some squirrels, which uh, she loves to do. We think she just dove into like a thicket of alders or something. She woke up and her eye was all swollen and she was really like scratching it and it had just completely festered. After parking at Trinity for a couple days, we had to leave early and pull out and come to St. John's because there's a vet here. Oh, good girl. Good girl. The only thing that bothers her is when you put a finger up her anus. That's how I do it. This morning it seemed a little better. Today it seems a little less swollen, so hopefully it's getting better slowly. You want to go chase some more squirrels now? <laughs> And so she has this lampshade now that um, has been a big blow to her morale. In fact, uh, it's been kind of challenging for all of us. We're in this confined space and her lampshade is constantly like, we have to give her eye drops four times a day. So that's something new to get used to. Yeah, it just started coming down hard. Um, but we're also having problems with our electric jack. And uh, you probably saw in the last episode, as I raised the trailer up, um, that happened and that's a very bad sound so now we're kind of dealing with that um i have taken apart the jack and tried to trouble troubleshoot it on my own and with a few calls to tech support that was um not very fruitful oh man i just went ahead and ordered a new jack so we're waiting for that to come out ah, this rain is not letting up Also, while we're here in St. John, I lost my drone. This is one of the saddest moments I've had in a while. <laughs> the last known location was right here and I hiked all the way out here to this point and it's nowhere to be found. So there's lots of shrubs and trees and stuff here it could have fallen into, but there's also a cliff right over here and I think that's where it went down. Ah. So I had this amazing shot where I was backing up, filming the waves crashing right in here, and apparently I backed up into this. Uh, I think it's in the ocean. Lost at sea. Any drone owner will tell you that every time you take your quadcopter out of the box, in the back of your mind you're thinking, is this it? Is this, 
This could be the last flight. I had that thought this time too, but like what's the what's the point, you know, if you don't get the drone out and enjoy flying it, you know, you might as well not have it, so. Oh man, Some serious bushwhacking. So that's the thing with flying drones. You gotta be hyper conservative. All it takes is a second to lapse in judgment and you can lose the drone. So the problem is you just don't get great drone footage when you're flying conservatively, you know? And I definitely have that problem. I have to go for epic shots. It's just in my nature. It's amazingly beautiful up here though. Right? At least we got some blueberries up here. This is actually helping my grief. <laughs> 